All right. Uh, Dear Billy Stretchy Pants, on your podcast sometime back, you were talking about someone getting with someone else and one of the people gaining a bunch of weight. Oh, yeah, when you start dating somebody, how it's not fair to the other person for you to then put on a bunch of fucking weight. Um, Unless you're a woman, you're having a baby. That's obviously, you know, I'm not a fucking animal here, but I'm just saying, you know, after you have the kid, you know, that's that's when, you know, after your wife has a kid, two things should happen. This is what you do. You get a little bassinet for the beautiful baby, and then the second thing you do is you get an elliptical for your wife, but so she doesn't get mad at you, what you do is you get her initials engraved on the side of it. In plastic, of course. Totally kidding. All right. Um, I was already a few weeks into whipping myself back into shape. Um, Okay, let me just start this over again because I even forgot what the fuck he's talking about. On your podcast sometime back, you were talking about someone getting with someone else and one of the people gaining a bunch of weight. I was already a few weeks into whipping myself back into shape, but this really helped me solidify my will. Well, that's fucking great, man. That's great. I wish she... Can you help me? Because I... You know what's... Sitting in a fucking writer's room is like... I, I eat there like the way I eat on the road. I mean, I, it's just fucking hard to try to eat healthy. It's just... You're just bored. You're freaking out. You're locked in the fucking room. And you're like, eh, I'm going to eat some fucking candy for no reason. I'm sitting there every day like it's Halloween and I'm fucking seven years old. I got to stop. All right. <clears throat> it made me think that I should really give my lady the respect of maintaining something close to the body I had when she got on this train. Uh, She loves me. She has stayed with me in spite of the lumpy beanbag chair I have become. I am now 15 pounds down with a bunch more to go, but I am back on my routine. Four or five trips to the gym at 5.30 in the morning. Dude, you're fucking killing it. That's great. And calorie counting as well. I know exactly what to do. It's just the time now. My question is this. How do you deal with it if your lady wants you to eat the same stuff she is or wants to go to a shitty fried food restaurant? Anyways, thanks, man. Hope season two of F is for Family is coming along well. It is. Thank you, sir. Can't wait to see it. And I loved your last show in Austin. Hurry back and come during the football season. We had a monster fucking recruiting class this year. Thanks, you bastard. Oh, that's great, man. You good. Longhorn should be good. It's a legendary uh, college program there. All right. Um, all right. How do you deal with it? I would just say, I would just, that's easy, it's easy. Just sit down with her and just say, hey, listen, you know, when you got with me, I was however years old and I, w- I weighed this much. And I don't think it's fair for me to have put on all this fucking weight, you know, and to be looking like a lumpy beanbag chair, like you said. So I'm really trying to get myself back into shape. So I was wondering if, you know, you know, if you want to eat something that's a little uh, unhealthy, is there any way we just can go to a place that has healthy options for me? All right, because uh, I don't want to look bad for you and I also don't want to die early. So you're fucking, you know, in your 40s and 50s, having to put lipstick on and get the fuck back out there again and try to meet somebody who works down at Sears. You know, and I I don't want to do that to you. I'd like to be here for the long haul. Dude, there's no fucking way she, she'll give you shit about that. that. That's a very easy thing to have um, happen, you know? And then also, I think... Sorry, I'm looking at the time here. I also think that she would be happy to hear that you, you weren't just doing this for some vain reason yourself, that you were actually also doing it for her. I think that that would be pretty cool. Now watch. Now watch. She'll fucking get in some big fucking fight, you know? Are you saying, are you saying I eat bad? Do you say I'm fat? Yeah, she blows her sales manager. 